Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So today I have for you guys a chit chat, get ready with me. So that's pretty much it that there is to say. It wasn't very chatty, but if you do want to go ahead and watch that, please go ahead and keep on watching and let's go ahead and get into putting on some makeup. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to go in with is our primer. So the first thing I'm going to use is my Touch and Soul. We're pretty much using everything that I use for my collab with Raquel. So I'll take just a tiny bit of this and apply it to my face. For our base anyway, we're using kind of the same thing. So the next thing we are gonna go ahead and go back in with is our Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I don't know what made my makeup look so freaking pretty that day, but my skin looked flawless. Like I can't, I don't know. I was looking at like, I was editing a video where from that day where I did my makeup and I was like, your skin looks so good. Okay, going in with my Urban Decay Optical Illusion. I keep wiping my hands on my pants and I really need to get out of that habit. I had a few dried up pimples, but at least they're dried up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in and just color correct like some of these purplish spots, just like the last time. Okay, we're just gonna let that sit there and kind of dry just a little bit while we go in with our brows. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna go in with is my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Blackest Brown. And all I'm gonna use this for is to outline my brows and then we're gonna fill them in with that Maybelline Brow Tattoo. Brows ta Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade Deep Brown. Now that our brows are done, they look in a little bit big, like they look a little bit big, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and go in and just start dabbing at this color corrector. And the reason I like to dab is just because it helps the product stay in place rather than move around. And whenever you color correct, you want it in that specific spot to help color correct. You don't want it all over your face because then it'll defeat the purpose. What have you guys been up to? Have Where are you from? Has your area opened up yet? I'm in Texas, so you guys probably already know, like Texas is almost going like full throttle, I believe right now they're at 75% capacity again, but I don't know, but back whenever they were at 50% capacity or 25, whatever it was, you could only have like six people at a table whenever you go eat at a restaurant. And that was kind of irritating because anytime we would go out, eat out with anybody, well, we are, we're already a family of five. So we would always have, like we had to sit at separate tables and that was annoying. I mean, I guess I understand, but still annoying. I just feel like people give this virus way too much power. Now I'm not saying go out and like, just be oblivious to the fact that there is a virus that if you, are an unhealthy person could harm you. But if you're a healthy person, overall, like I don't see why you panic. I really don't. And if you follow my channel and you're a follower of God, then you should know you're not supposed to fear anything of this world. And that the Bible speaks of these things and of plagues and wars and things like that. Just for the confirmation that if you haven't already, it's time to seek the most high. By most high, I mean the God of the scriptures, Yahweh. Forget how far that elf concealer goes. I'm just like, man, I barely even applied any. You guys, I love that brow product. Like, I don't know if it's the color I got or what it is, but it's like, 
but um like you could still see like all my natural brow hairs i like that it doesn't just flatten them and like just cake on the product like this it was raquel's favorite and now it's becoming my favorite and i've only used it twice okay so going in with this um this is the palette i got off of amazon i'll post a picture of it right now it's a dupe for the born to run palette so i guess what i'm gonna do is set my lids with the elf under eye powder because there's not like a matte like a light enough matte color to do this have you guys still been doing your makeup during all of this and like getting yourself put together or have you just been like chilling in pajamas all day i'll admit i don't do my makeup er every day not even whenever it was like at its peak i didn't but i would at least make sure to get myself dressed and my kids dressed just because i didn't want to get out of a habit because i mean eventually things are gonna have to go back to functioning. I don't wanna say back to normal because what we want new as normal is no longer. So there's that. King just got up, let me give him his food. Okay, so now that that is all set down, let's go ahead and get into applying some eyeshadows. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Weekender. And just as a transition shade, I'm gonna start buffing that into my crease. It's really supposed to be get ready with me, not uh, <laughs> tutorial, but I can't help it. I got a color switch, y'all. They had like this with an extra sponge on, what am I trying to say? On Amazon for like six bucks. And I bought it for my makeup kit, but I thought it would be good for whenever I film too, because I like to use a lot of the same brushes and I don't always feel like washing my brushes. And I separated all my brushes, like my own personal use brushes and then brushes that I keep in my kit just that way I'm not having to dig through all the time and brushes that are in my kit stay clean and they don't get mixed up with my dirty old brushes guys I really don't know what to talk about I mean I guess I could ask if you have kids are you guys sending them back to school in the fall one of my friends posted that the her child goes to an academy here that we have and she had posted that the, her daughter will be going back to school July 27th. And I was like, wow, that's early. I am going to send Ethan back to school um, for as long as I can anyway. I just feel like he likes it and he learns really well and he likes to make friends. And like I said, I'm just not gonna allow this virus to instill fear in me or my family. Like, I don't think people understand like what can happen when you allow fear to take control over everything? It weakens your faith, it weakens your beliefs, it makes it causes doubt. I have on like this peachy colored shirt. It's like tie-dye, like peachy and white. So I guess I'm going to take the shade still shot right here. I'm gonna take that one into my crease. I haven't played with this that often or I don't play with this that often. And so I was like, hmm, let me grab a palette that I don't really play with. And I almost grabbed my Tati Beauty palette, but I used that last week. So I was like, uh, no, grab something you truly have not used. I always do a better job of blending out on my left eye than I do my right eye. Anybody else ha have that like an eye that you're better at doing makeup on than the other? I'm not sure why, like it just happens that way. Taking my Profusion brush and going back in with Week, e week Ender. Just gotta blend a little bit. Do you guys pick up any hobbies over quarantine? I just kind of got more into makeup and just practicing it on myself and learning new editing tricks for my videos and just spending more time with God. Like that's definitely one thing quarantine has got me in the habit of. Every morning I wake up and I try to do my read and write the word. If you follow me on social media, I post it every month of what scripture I'll be reading every day and writing every day. And it'd be fun. Like you guys could follow me along. That'd be a lot of fun. Kind of want to stop here, but I want to kind of, kind of want to keep going. You know what, let's add a tiny bit, just a tiny bit of Baja into the crease. And when I say tiny bit, I'm taking this teeny tiny brush. This is the Defined a Crease brush from Makeup Geek. Ooh, that one is pigmented, but ooh.
What are some makeup items that you guys are like super into right now? Like if you could get products at a discount, good quality products at a discount, like what would it be? I mean like makeup products, like sponges, brushes, like what would it be? This orange one is a little bit like, it has a lot of kickback, but it doesn't have a lot of fallout at all. So I think what I'm gonna go in with now is some of Blaze right here. And I'm just gonna put that on like the inner part of my eyelid. Just going in with this Alamod Cosmetics. I think this is a flat concealer brush. I'm always chunking stuff, but I'm not sure. This has like a pink shift to it. So I didn't apply the best with a brush. So what I'm gonna do, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same color and I'm just gonna try to pack it on with my finger. That usually always does the trick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in very light handed and I'm gonna try to take stranded and try to, I don't know, add a little something to that cause that's just not what I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so I mean, that's not like, it's not looking terrible, but I was expecting a little bit more out of these shimmers because they look really pretty in the pan. Maybe I should have tried wetting them, but since this one, oh, I dug my nail into one. Oh man. But since this one had like a pink shift to it, it kind of blended in really good towards the outer corner. And this one's not as dark as it looks in the pan. It actually comes off like a really, pretty light champagne goldy color. So you now what I'm gonna do, like I'm just gonna leave eyeshadow alone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Araceli Ojos Perfecto Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Coffee. And we're gonna do like a little wing. What do you guys consider a baby wing? Cause I feel like sometimes when I say I'm gonna do a little wing, I end up with something massive. Getting better about it though. So the next thing I'm gonna do before I go, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this Hollywood in Vine Velvety Touch Smooth Coal Liner in black. And I'm just gonna tight line with that just to get under my lashes because I'm gonna apply falsies. I'm just gonna do that before I apply mascara. What's wrong? going to apply a coat of this ColourPop BFF, BFF Volumizing Mascara. Get it. You know, I keep trying this because I'm just like, what is the hype about it? Watch it. But anyways, I was saying like, I don't know what the hype about this mascara is because I feel like it's flaky. It doesn't do much for my lashes. It's already dried out and I've probably only used it like five times. Like, I don't know. I don't know what people see in this mascara. So for today, I'm going in with the lashes from my brand, Her Beauty. And these are my lashes in the style Courage. You guys, I have been eyeballing these ever since I purchased my first huge inventory of lashes. I was just like, oh, like, oh, I gotta have those. Like, I gotta have them. And I bought them from myself. I didn't just take them out of my collection. Hey. I didn't just keep them for myself. I actually bought them from myself. And we are going to use them. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Super bold, like this is, I think this is the boldest pair of eyelashes that I've ever worn. It's like, I can see like how thick they are down at the bottom. Well, full, I think thick sounds like a bad word. Okay, now that lashes are finally on, let's go ahead and get into foundation. So as I was saying, I loved how my makeup looked the day that I did the video for the collab with um, with Raquel for our favorites. And this was her favorite foundation. And I hadn't used this foundation in a long time. So now I'm just excited to be playing with it again. Because that day my makeup looked so flawless, like my base makeup. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and take this Conceal and Perfect foundation I have mine in the shade 04 medium beige. I'm going to take two pumps on the back of my hand, take my Her Beauty sponge, and just start pushing that in. This isn't as matte as I remember it being. That or my skin has just changed a lot 
since I last tried it in 2016. Not to mention my skincare has gotten a lot better since then. So my skin is definitely A, not as dry. And I also know how to prime properly now. I was not perfect when I started my YouTube channel and I still learn every day on makeup tips and tricks and skincare facts and things like that. Like, did you guys, you guys should look up the skin benefits of papaya and just the benefits of papaya as well. Eating papaya, no, that's lychee that I'm thinking of, but papaya is good for digestive health, but it also helps, um, papaya can help reverse skin damage and lighten up dark spots, or is that lychee too? I looked up so much last night. I think papaya can help lighten up, like the spots of scars and help you with breakouts. Lychee, however, is really good too. Lychee, lychee, L-Y-C-H-E-E, -E, how do you guys pronounce it? I've heard lychee and I've heard lychee. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my concealer. King, your dad's leaving. Dot there, dot there, dot, 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 dot. As I was saying lychee, if you consume lychee, it helps stop the spread of viruses. That's important information to know, especially right now. Helps your body fight it off, as well as keeps you from spreading it. I am loving this new technique of applying my concealer. I'm so glad that girl reached out and was like, hey, like you should try this. I think it would really work for you. And it does. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our e.l.f. under eye setting powder and just set that down. Going in with my Makeup Revolution Baking Powder in Lace, and I'm just gonna set down the rest of my face. Hot Lace Face Rhymes. So, for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and take my nude eyeliner. This is um, ColourPop's Creme Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude. And I'm just gonna put that on our lower. Okay, so just to finish that up, I'm gonna go ahead and take the ColourPop Mascara and apply that to our lower lashes. Okay, so now that eyes are done, let's go ahead and go ahead and bronze up the face. So I'm going in with my 8L Morphe palette and I'm just, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and bang this freaking powder out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Donut right here and start bronzing my face with that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this aquamarine or supernova shade right here and we're gonna put that on the inner corner. Okay, next is blush. I always feel like I have a line. Just like something's always off in this area. Now that we're done bronzing and setting, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with blush. And I'm taking my Revlon blush, and this is in the shade 006 Naughty Nude. I'm just gonna take this brush right here. And I like this brush because you just dab, dab, dab. That's a pretty sheen to it. And then for highlight, taking this Soap X palette, and I'm gonna take the gold one again and I highlight the cheekbones with that. I'm gonna set brows, speaking of brows, Essence Make Me Brow in Brownie Brows. And then for lips, I'm taking my Profusion Matte Lip Liner in the shade Imagine. This is a lot more pinky than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Profusion Lip Liner in Charm, cause I need a little bit of a peachy tone. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna take my Butter Gloss and Creme Brulee. Okay, so now we're just gonna set and I'm going to be using my Makeup Revo my Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Setting Spray. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the way this look came out. Sorry, I just don't ever know what to talk about whenever I do chit chat, get ready with me. I get ready with me's because I'm just used to doing makeup with you guys and telling you guys what I'm doing and how to do what, like that's what I'm used to. So yeah, give me some topics down below if you haven't already. Also, if you did like it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. 
Also hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.